Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you guys are interested in private consultations, definitely look at the description box below. I do want to apologize for being a little bit late on my uploads for the mid-month, as I have been extremely busy uh, with spellcraft, candle magic, um, private consultations, and also clients that come in private, or sorry, that come in person uh, for cleansing and spiritual healing. Uh, so I do want to apologize in regards to that. Let's get into this reading and see what spirit has for you. Gemini is for the mid month of November, 2017, um, regarding your love and romance. So I'm going to be pulling out four cards for you, then four cards for, uh, your partner, the person that you're dealing with for the mid month of November going into December. And then I will be pulling out the general or current situation card. Okay. So let's get into it. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. I do want to thank you guys very, very much for all the support. You guys continuously are helping me grow my channel. Uh, for all of you guys who have reached out to me, please be a little bit patient in regards to emails as I am trying the best I can to uh, respond to all of you guys. Um, as you know, as you guys know, YouTube is a major source of outlet and, you know, a multitude of people contact me. So again, like I said, please bear with me in regards to that. Okay. And for those of you guys that have came to me uh, for spell work, candle magic, and um, private consultations, thank you guys very, very much. I am extremely blessed and extremely humble, and it excites me and thrills me uh, to be able to see, you know, the quick, um, the quick results that you guys are getting. So that's definitely a blessing. Thank you guys very much. Okay, so let's get into your reading after all that spiel. Let's see what is going on with you, Gemini's. month of November 2017 regarding the love and romance. Love and romance for Gemini's. Love and romance for Gemini's. Okay. All right, Gemini's, you guys have the five of swords, the strength card, the ten of wands, the king of wands. Partners cards is the eight of pentacles the eight of wands the three of wands the ten of pentacles and current situation is the five of cups all right let's see what's going on with you guys okay so it's funny because the king of wands came out and initially when i first started recording i was shuffling the cards and the king of wands definitely popped out so that's the second time so i was obviously they're wanting to connect with you guys for the mid-month of november all right, Gemini's, you guys have the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups as a general energy or current situation. You guys are definitely going through hardships in regards to love and romance. Um, it could have to do with the fact of feeling the loss of the relationship for some of you guys that have currently became single. For those of you guys that have been in a long-term committed relationship, perhaps you guys are um, definitely struggling as I do see family dynamic here. So for those of you guys that are married, it could be that you guys are struggling or you guys have had, um, you know, some type of loss. It could be financial, financial loss. It could have been that someone lost their job. It could be that you guys are in the family dynamic going through struggles in regards to health with children, um, whatever that may be. So uh, for those of you guys that are single, the five of cups is still the mourning or the feeling of the loss of a relationship. So I feel that for the most part, most of you guys that have been or are single have currently either separated or ended a relationship, um, a relationship which you were um, very emotionally attached. And that's the reason why you guys, the five of cups is coming out. Now, for your cards and how you see the situation, you have the five of swords. The five of swords is a lot of arguments, but it's arguments about um an unnecessary conflict it's almost like you feel you have to be the one with the last word uh there's not much understanding and this is the way you're seeing or perceiving your partner so it's almost like speaking or talking to the wall uh for some of you uh gemini's uh you guys are struggling to get the messages the messages across or you guys are struggling to get your partner to understand where you're coming from it could also represent that they're putting a lot of burdens in you 
or on you, I should say. The strength card is here. So I feel that this is connected for most of you Geminis, uh, connected with a family member, family dynamics. Someone is definitely going through struggles. It could be health-wise, as you guys do have pentacles here. And pentacles could represent finance and business, but it also represents health. Um, and I do see the Ten of Wands here. So for some of you guys, you guys are currently struggling with, with health issues, Geminis. Uh, it could be that... Um, Again, like I said, doesn't necessarily have to be uh, your, you um, precisely being the one to deal with uh, health issues, but it could be family or relatives close to you that are definitely dealing with that. And it's almost creating a burden. Um, if you guys are in a long-term committed relationship, again, like I said, it could be a child or someone that has been going through some type of um some type of struggle or some type of health issue that it's creating a lot of burdens for you, a lot of... Um, you know having it really difficult almost like you're you may be in a relationship but it's almost like you're the one that's dealing with this um again with the five of swords it's like you guys are not communicating or you're not understanding not you gemini but your partner because these are your cards these are the cards that are representing you at the present time now the strength card does speak about health um getting better or recovery coming through but it's going to come through uh it's definitely coming through, but nonetheless, it still has been really difficult or really hard on you. Um, as the Ten of Wands does represent struggles, having a lot of difficulties and uh, unnecessary burdens, having to carry that through. Now, the King of Wands, you guys may be dealing with the fire sign. A fire sign would be a Sagittarius, Aries, or a Leo. And I feel that this person is either expecting too much from you or they are... Uh, financially draining you so what I mean by that is they're expecting so much from you um, it's almost like when you're in a relationship it takes two to make it work right and if for instance in the household um, there hasn't been much abundance much stability um, we don't you know we don't necessarily all love to work but unfortunately sometimes if you as a partner are not able to provide completely 100 percent to your partner then it should come out of your partner to see your struggles and your difficulties and for them to step up and say you know what i'm going to get off my ass and actually do something about it or help you uh, it could be vice versa please understand that it is a general reading so for some of you Gemini's, it could be you the one that, you know, you're putting so much burden on your partner. It's like you're solely depending on them and that's not, it's not going to work out that way. You know, you guys are expecting too much from your partner and almost sitting back and just relaxing, you know, letting them deal with all the struggles and the stress that are coming through. So that's where the miscommunication and misunderstanding is coming through. So please be mindful about that. Now, how your partner is perceiving you or perceiving the situation. They have the eight of pentacles. Again, like I said, there is um, there is definitely long hours or spent um, long hours uh, trying to put effort in regards to work because you guys just continuously keep fumbling in regards to finances, almost like you you start doing good but then you take three steps back instead of moving forward and it has a lot to do with again like i said the burdens that have been carried or put on you by other family members or uh, anyone you know it could even be children so again um understand and know that you know we can take on so much but there is there is a moment where if you're unable to balance everything that's going on in your life your health is going to start being affected and if you guys are constantly having um if you guys are constantly having either back problems or if you guys are constantly dealing with headaches please know and understand that this is spirit letting you know you need to not take on more than you can handle okay gemini's now for others of you again like i said if it's you the one that's creating headaches and burdens on your partner it's time for you to really look at yourself look at the you know look at yourself in the mirror and try to analyze what is it that why are you self-sabotaging yourself what is it that's keeping you from growth and advancement it's almost like family um if you happen to be the gemini that is a little bit more selfish it's almost like you know relatives and family members or in the family dynamic are trying to help you are trying to assist you but you continuously keep doing the same mistakes and you need to stop you need to let that you know again like i said you need to let it go you need to almost step up to the challenge um gemini's are extremely extremely uh smart you guys are very capable i mean you guys are the twin 
in the zodiac sign uh you guys are the communicators so again um you know try the best you can to watch your health and to also not take on more than you can handle even if it means you speaking up to your partner and letting them know like hey you know what i can't do this alone uh you have to help me uh that's what partnerships is you know at the end of the day so there is definitely in regards to your partner and how they're perceiving the communication the eight of wands is here so the eight of wands is finally having that talk that heart to heart uh, the coming to the understanding what's not working let's sit down and let's hash it out let's talk about it and make it better or try to make it better so i definitely do see progress by the end of the month uh you do or your partner does have the three of wands so the three of wands is looking towards the past but also making plans for the future understand and know that at the end of the day in order for us to move forward we need to stop comparing ourselves to people we need to stop comparing ourselves to the past compare stop comparing or reliving the past because when you do that, you are self-sabotaging your your future, what's unfolding before you. You need to let go of whatever's no longer serving you and move forward. By moving forward, focusing, putting goals or setting goals for yourself, you will be able to achieve them as you are constantly looking ahead. And I feel that for you, Gemini's, this is what you're struggling with at the present time. Now, you do have the Ten of Pentacles. Um, stability finally comes through at the end of the month as communication does as well so i feel that for a lot of you guys you guys are dealing with uh it could be you that's you know becoming a burden to your partner it could be that you or that your partner is becoming a burden to you understand that no and understand and know that at the end of the day it takes two two people to make a relationship work it takes effort it takes uh you know, taking some type of responsibility for what's going on and wanting the desire to want to make it better. Again, like I said, stop looking towards the past. For those of you guys that are currently um, having, you know, health issues or really not sleeping, uh, almost like you guys are very, very, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, very restless at night. Um, my suggestion would be try the best you can to maintain, um, keep yourself, um, what's the word? Um, my suggestion would be to actually do about 15, 20, uh, 20 minute exercise before you actually go to bed or before you go shower, before you go to bed so you could relax your body. So once your body hits the bed, your body is completely in relax mode and it's easier for you guys to fall asleep. OK, so I wish you guys the very best. I hope this helps you and assist you. I will see you guys uh, soon. If you're interested in private consultations, definitely look at the description box below and we will see each other soon. OK, bye.